Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at Trans-Siberian Orchestra's Christmas Eve Sarajevo 1224. It's a long title. Alright, so this has got a lot of, um, a little bit of harmony guitar work, but I don't really call it harmony guitar work because a lot of it's in octaves. So we'll say dual guitar work. Um, sometimes there's up to four guitars playing at a time. So. We're going to break this thing down. It's not the most complicated thing in the world, though. Um, we're going to just kind of work it out as, as it occurs in the song. So I'm in standard tuning here. We're going to start with a clean tone. And on the original recording, they capoed the second fret. So they would have played this, that last note, here. So it's kind of like, you know, like that. So you can have that note ring over. Um, Live, they just do this. So just kind of uh, give it, you know, just don't worry about perfecting the exact tone of the original recording. But if you want to do that, you'd have to capo at the very beginning of the song. And then above here, uh, here at the ninth fret, or really seven frets above the capo, you play the D string, the G string, and the eighth fret there, or six above the capo, um, on the B string. And then you hit the open string that the capo is playing. So, or just play it like we're going to do it here, which is so it's nine on the D, nine on the G, eight on the B, then seven on the B. So just repeat that. Then you have that little cello melody and the flute melody that happens over it. So you just continue doing that under it and then just end it with that first note on the D string. And then uh, the full band kicks in and we kick in. You're gonna hear a lot of just low E, that kind of thing going on underneath it. All right, but um, over that, we have this main little muted part that sounds like this. So all you gotta do is hold the ninth fret on the D and the G together Cut the delay off there so you can hear it. And then what we're gonna do is a down up on the G, and then you're gonna play down on the D, then up on the G. So we have this. And then two down a down up on just the D. So you're just doing the pattern down up on the G, then across the D and the G, and then down up on the D. So if it's nice palm muted down here, it gives it that really kind of chunky sound. It almost sounds like there's a delay on it because of the picking pattern. So you're just kind of picking close, lay your palm close to the bridge there. And then we have the main melody come in uh, that comes in and a lot of the harmony guitar work and uh, starts as well. So the main melody, as you're doing that little, little thing, it sounds like this. All right, so we're just going to stop there. I don't want to get too much. So we have that main one that comes in first. All right, so that's 12 on the G, 11, back to 12, over to 14 on the D. So do that a few times. And then you keep repeating that while the high harmony comes in, which we'll take a look at in a second. And then we're going to go up here. So that's the 17 done three times, then 15, 13, that's on the B string. 
Then the same thing on the between 16, 14, and 12 on the G. And then go back up to the 14, hit that a few times, and then 16, 14, so it, and then just end it with the 14th fret there on the uh, D string, done four times. All right, so that's the, the first harmony line that comes in. Now, as you play that, the other guitar player is still doing that. And then he comes in with this. So he does his little part right there, and then, and then his little descending line that goes with the high harmony part. So this right, the harmony part up top is 12, 10, 12 on the B, over to 12 on the G. And then when they get to that descending line with the other guitar players doing this, He does this. All right, so that's over the fifth fret there on the B string. Done three times. Then seven, five, four on the G. Put that a few times there on the four, then seven, five on the D. So we have this. Then back to the seven there on the D. Then jump up to nine, back to seven, and then over to the seventh fret on the A string four times. So it just matches this up here. All right, so after that descending riff, we kind of start the second half of the main melody. Now this is actually three different guitar parts um, being played an octave apart. They're all doing the same thing, just an octave apart. And at the very end of it, there's a little a fourth guitar that comes in. So the best way to really tackle this stuff is to really kind of just play one part until it, there's one kind of always dominant in the mix a little bit. And then if you just listen to recording, oh, okay, I'm gonna move into this part next. Just like if I just wanna follow along the song uh, by yourself. So the very, the lowest um, line though, it sounds like this. All right, so that is just gonna be here at the second fret, two, four, six on the A string, and then two, four, five on the D. Then over to the second fret on the G, pick it, slide it to four, back down to two, and then down to five on the D string. So repeat that a couple times. And then we just do this. the first six notes of that pattern that we did, just repeat them four times, and then end it there at the second fret of the D string. All right, so the next guitar part, next highest in the uh, uh, register guitar, is the exact same thing, an octave higher, so just this. So just exactly an octave higher. He does grab on that when it hits that G string, he might do a little pinch harmonic there. Alright, so exact same thing. And then we have the highest harmony part or just octave part, but sounds like this. All right, so same thing. We're just, uh, the fingering is gonna be different though. So we have uh, 16, 18 on the G, then 16, 17, 19 on the B string. Over to 15 on the high E. Then you're gonna pick 17, slide up to 19, then back down to 17. Then back down to 15. So just repeat that. 
And then, as before, just do the picking pattern up to the 15th fret there and just repeat that four times. And then you're going to end it at the 17th fret, 17th fret on the B. Now, that very last time you heard that, you probably said, well, that's supposed to go up there. Well, that's a fourth guitar part that's added in there. So basically, when you're doing this, right here, that's when the fourth guitar comes in. So now that is at the 14, 16 on the G, then, uh, I'm sorry, 16, 18 on the G, then 16, 17, 19 on the B, then 15 on the high E, then shift up to the 17th fret and go 17, 18, 19, then shift up to the 20th fret and go 20, 21, 22, and then whole step bend there. All right, so that takes care of the basically the main melody section. Um, now, from there, so the, the main melody section, and then we have this little descending riff, which uh, the low harmony part starts first. And then comes in the high part, harmony part with it. All right, so once again, they're just an octave apart, and this one continues to play while the high harmony part goes as well. So this part is this. Fifth fret there on the B string, twice. Then seven, five, and then you get to pick the five. And you just, it's really kind of just a slight inflection you're putting on the note. Well, a slight bend and release, but not a full step or anything. And then four, two on the G. And then once again, you're gonna kind of just accent that fourth fret there down to two. Then pick five on the D and then accent that note. Four, two on the D. So we have this real slow. All right, now, the high harmony part, the second, the second time through, this continues and plays that exact same thing again, while this plays on top. It's gonna play this a little bit differently. 17 on the, twice there on the B string to 15. And then we're back to the exact same thing. Just an octave up, so. Okay, open E power chord there. And then we're back to the muted riff. All right, now we're gonna have a slow guitar melody start that plays three times. The second and third time is gonna add a harmony part to it. Now, so the bottom part sounds like this. So let's look at that real quick. We're gonna play a, a bend at the 15th fret on the B string, release, and take it normal, and then half step bend at the 12th fret, and then release, and then take the 12th fret. So we have this. All right, so after you've played that once and you continue playing it the second and third time, we have this harmony with it. All right, so that's 19 on the high E, then 17, then a big bend here at the 12th fret on, uh, I'm sorry, 20th fret on the B string, and release, take the note normal, so this. All right, now from there, we go back to that same descending uh, melody we did before. So like this. Goes back to the same big harmony part, but we're just gonna do this one. 
And then after doing that one time, we just have this high part basically just stops there. So you do both of them there. And then we have this little extension that sounds like this. All right, so that is 15, 14, 15. Back to 15 on the high E. Over to 17 on the B string. All right, then we have this. So that's a whole step bend uh, and release to the 17th from the high E string. Pull off to 15, over to 17 on the B. Then to the 15th from the high E string, a lot of vibrato, and then 22nd fret with a lot of vibrato, then the bend of the 22nd fret. So we have this. So just so you'll know where that comes in, this comes out of this part. All right, and then we're back to the same descending melody again. And then, Now it's just like the exact thing in the beginning where you're doing all three parts of the melody and then you add that extension at the end. The same extension we did before and then this time you just get to the 22nd fret and start doing some bends. Now underneath that you start here to... The power chord is off the A string, 7th fret, 5, 3, 2, so they're adding that um, there. You also will hear that 2nd fret power chord where you're, whenever they're doing that. Um, but we're taking a look at the fun parts. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to get to the uh, very end where you have those two harmonized fast licks um, on the really cool ending. So that sounds like this. All right, so what's going on there? It's a three note for string lick, and I'll show you the harmony part in a second. So this is the high harmony part. We're gonna uh, just straight alternate picking, starting with the downstroke. We're gonna pick 19, 17, 15 there. All right, so just right, right out of E minor. So we have 19, 17, 15, same thing on the B. Then six, 17, 16, 14 on the G. Same thing there on the D. Look at this. Then we're gonna ascend by going 12, 14, 16. Same thing on the G. Then 13, 15, 17 on the B. Then here we have 14, 15, 17 on the high E. So we have this descending. then ascending and then just repeat so you repeat that four times all right now coming out of that four times the fourth time you which is a 15th fret on the high E, then up to 17, kind of sliding into them, then um, 19, and then 22nd, so 15, 17, 17, sorry, 15, 17, 19, 22, and then, and then the bend there at the 22nd fret. Now the harmony of that is basically starting down a third, So nice and slow, 
So that's gonna be going when you're doing this. So it's 15, 14, 12. So everything's three notes per string. 15, 13, 12, they're on the B. Then 14, 12, 11 on the G. Then 14, 12, 10 on the D. So we have this. Now we'll go shift down to nine. So we have, now we're gonna ascend three notes per string, nine, 10, 12. Then nine, 11, 12. Then 10, 12, 13. Then 10, 12, 14. Now, if you do that four times, you have your own ascending notes on this time on the B string that sound like this. All right, so that's 12, 15, 17, 20, and then the bend of the 22nd fret on the B. And then again to end it. So that goes with it. All right, so hopefully you have a, a second guitarist that you can, or a fifth and sixth guitarist that you can <laughs> do all these parts with. Uh, but it, it's kind of fun to see how it was all put together um, that you would think there's a lot of harmony guitar work. There is, is some, but most of it is octaves apart. So it's not really a true harmony. Um, it's really just like, like a three octave melody. It's pretty cool. All right, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.